the maestro. I know that. That's it. That's it. That's it. The maestro. The maestro. Dirty. Shots! Really? I think that would be cool though. Why? Ooh. The maestro. Shots! How about you hold it? Oh. 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 Again, a great question brought up by my dude, Renzo Bryant, the Vaniac. One of the, we talked about the basic three principles, right? We talked about develop flexibility, being a five position player and be about the be about the acts and not the stats. I want to kind of interject something more on an advanced level. And that is how to be the greater player within the system, even to get a start. And that is. If you are a player who wants to be able to work and fit in any given system, in any given scheme, around any base principle set, once you are on the team, or even when you're trying out for the team, but once you are on the team, go to the coach and have that conversation. Be more than a player, become a scout. And in turn, become a coach that can support your coach's vision. If you are lucky enough to have a coach that builds their scheme or their system around the talent that's on the bench, no matter what level that talent may be, ask how you can raise the level. And then put in the work to do so. If you are a player, who is lucky enough to have a coach that is about, let me see what I got. Let me organize what I got. Okay. These are the principles I like. These are the principles I want to do. I'm going to see if I can mesh all this together. Have the conversation with the coach step the process. They may or may not want it, but at least start the conversation. Let the coach know that you're there. Be the outlet. One of the things that I find myself having conversations with coaches, particularly new coaches, they've done all this homework, they've studied all this film, they've read all these books, they've gone to all these training conferences, they've gone to all these camps, they've done all this work, they have their notes from when they played, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So they come with a a five story library of knowledge, most of which they've never used, but they just know. John Wooden did this. Pat Summit did this. Phil Jackson did this. So-and-so did that. Larry Brown did this. The, whatever. And they've never put it into action. So they're sometimes grasping at the shadows of all these other great coaches, which is fine. Without looking at the talent that's sitting on the bench to know that even they could execute that. When you look at a coach like John Wood and look at the talent that he recruited from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to Bill Walton to Jamal Wilkes. Let's just keep going. When you look at a coach like Phil Jackson, look at the people who he had in his most successful times. He had players like Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant. You see where this is going. And of course, he had Robert Ory in both situations, right? Look, it is Great to pull from all these other coaches as a coach. I'm speaking to the coaches now. It is great to pull from all these other coaches, and you should, but adapt that to what you have. And if you're the player that we're really talking about here, be the outlet for your coach. Be the one to say, you know, coach, let's work on this. Or this is what coach wants to work on when you go back to the other players and you work on it on your own. So that way you can help execute the overall plan. Those are the things that make teams stronger. 
Those are the team things that make teams more successful. And those are the things that lead to banners being raised, rings being handed out, trophies being kissed. If all you have is talent, but you don't have team, the odds of you winning, though still good, are not as good as they could be if everyone was working within the system and within the scheme. And how does that happen? By the players stepping in for each other, becoming the player, a scout, and a coach to help move that vision forward. So that overall graduate level of being a scheme and system versatile player is a participating in the development and or dissemination of that system, that scheme, or those base principles. Again, a lot of people think that I kind of, I'm pretty hyperbolic about my praise for certain things, but that's why this question from Renzo is so amazing. And that I hope you're starting to see the different layers that that question gets into. And it's more than just about how do I lace them up today, get on the court and do what coach say. You put in the knowledge, you put in the work before you get there. And in the back to the ending to put a onion on the top of the cake for the coach's comment. You have five story library of knowledge that you're grasping from. But oftentimes, no matter how they feel about it and no matter how offended they're going to get when I say this, your players are coming to you with a book bag, only a book bag full of knowledge of what the game really is. So that is literally the case of putting 3,000 pounds of crap into a four ounce sack. So the coach has to be responsible and realize, though I have all these great ideas, they might not all get executed effectively if I don't train coach and teach my players what's going on. And then the players also need to meet the coach halfway and say, what do you plan on doing, coach? How can I help with this process? Let me help scout. Let me help become a coach on the floor so I can understand your plan. That's all we're talking about. Hopefully this helps you a little bit. Hopefully it gives you a little bit more insight. Of course, we're going to talk about this more and some other questions that are coming in now, too. This is what it was all supposed to be about a conversation with us and the fact that you even care about what I think about means the absolute world to me. No other way to say it. Appreciate you guys so much. Again, always fact check your boy, too, because sometimes my stroke gets sideways. I just third person again, didn't I? Sometimes my stroke gets sideways and he needs somebody to help him get on his depends because, well, you know, the shorts are just dirty. That's just what's up. So <laughs> there's this time, right? We're sitting back and we're trying to fish. And then we see this bear come out the woods. But the bear is wearing a baseball cap and wearing a jersey. Oh, wait, you want me to read? Thank you for listening to The Maestro. Thank you again for checking out The Maestro Sturdy Joints. Drop a tag below and give us a piece of your mind. See you next time and... Is it last call? Have you seen my glasses? The Maestro Sturdy Joints.